Hill's dogs supervising them tipping. Bring you more in now. T7, 225. Someone said they were uncool yesterday. Just rocking it all up again with the blade, the pusher. Get it right up to the four meters. See if we can get it all in this corner. I don't think we will because I think he's got another 150 ton to bring. So we might have to start tipping in that corner. Sheep update. There's now seven of them and the rams calmed down a lot. They let the chickens out because they like nothing better than in the morning. To walk over here out of the whole garden, yard, field and everything to poo outside the doors of the house. So all over here. And what they eat, well, that's to eat. Right where you walk to the door. Someone's picking these chairs up that we were we put on Facebook to get rid of. They're in one of the rooms of the farmhouse when we bought it. Can you see which bit I've done of the road that I'm rushing? That's a bit better now, it's about as much as you can do with the brush, but we took all the heavy off, shower rain, hopefully it'll clear away. But this time of year, there will be mud on roads because people are getting maize off and potatoes off and it's obviously started raining, so be careful on rural roads. Andrew's playing on his 4955. It keeps cutting out, so I don't know whether the fuel gauge might not be working, it's low on fuel. I'm gonna take it down and have a look. This filter looks new, so we don't know whether it's got gunk in the tank and that's why it's just had the filters changed and it's sucked some stuff through again, so I'm gonna take this filter off and clean it out. Put a new one on probably. Quiz question, dead easy one. People will know what that is, because we've done it before. What's that? I think we found the problem. It's crap in the fuel. primary filter off, blew it out, had a bit of water and a bit of like algae stuff in, probably got old diesel in it because it doesn't get used a lot of the tractor, so blew that out with the airline, put it back together, it's running fine now, but it's really worth getting a new filter for it, so when it does it again, you can just keep changing the filters until all it's gone, or drain the tank and try and get all the rubbish out of the tank in one go. got the other sofa up here put it together but we couldn't work out where to put it in here I think we've sussed it now and then we've moved the table over a bit Richard sanded it down so it's not as rough but no I think it looks good look at that Morris Caulfield vintage sticker which depot do you deal with the weather one at the back of Chester. Point it right, yeah. You're going to say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Let's have a look at this combine over here as well. I'm just picking some fencing up at Cuddington. And it will come with the car trailer. And it wasn't going to fit. So we had to ring Andrew to come with the fast track. But look at this. A Bonhill. I don't know whether it's Italian or East Germany, is it something? Looks really light. Fold up steps, sliding door, like a night sprayer. There's the ultimate hedge cutting tractor, isn't it? Because it's got forwards and reverse on the right. 6900 John Deere. Spearhead hedge cutter, just to make Sam jealous. The roof lining in this John Deere is falling down. What's the best way of gluing up? Someone must know. Could you spray glue between it, inject it, or draw it? No, you couldn't put drawing pins, could you? Answers on a postcard or below. I remember driving one of these years ago and you'd go forwards and backwards on this 
then you, as you were going backwards, you think, right, now I want to go forwards. But if you jumped on the wrong lever, instead of going to forwards to reverse, you'd end up going up four gears by pushing that lever by mistake. It was a bit dangerous. You'd nearly end up back into a ditch flat out. Just picking some fencing up that David's kindly stored for us. Look at that for a building. The architect should have went into that years ago when they meant to build it. They even got a hit roof and everything. Deutsch there for the Deutsch fans. This is it Ford or a Rovers? It's a Ford. 5,000. <laughs> Bit of smoke. Stuck behind Andrew on the way back. On the new Mersey Gateway Bridge. To try and get a nice picture for the thumbnail for the video. We go around this bend perhaps. Nice picture there now of going past, having to sort of undertake. Told you it was the last weekend to cut the lawn without doing it now. That's why there's a merlot down the drive for the grass clippings. It's a big cut. Andrew's been polishing a bonnet. You see your face in it now. Just don't know what to do about his nose cone though. Let's see if that'll polish. It's coming up alright though, isn't it? What do people think? Respray it or just polish it and leave it and just sort the wheels out? Leave a comment below. What's that stuff? Plastic and trim conditioner. Look at the dashboard now. Well, not the shiny. Yeah, it's coming up well. It's got its plastic restorer and it works on the roof. She's so gonna try it on the nose now. Which would you have? Getting there, and it's just a shame it's worn off where people have filled it up with diesel. It's coming up all right, that isn't it? You could have always just sprayed it with WD 40, it'll look the same. Red diesel. Red diesel, red diesel, and enjoy. If not disturbed, he's direct drilled in and he's going to drill that. And then some of it's been carrier discs, so just lightly dissed. And I think we've sprayed it twice for any weed seed chits. So it'll be interesting to see how this comes up. Stop the wind, but he's, he's on his new T7 315, is it with the 900 tyres that he was carting grain on yesterday? So we're gonna have a closer look at it. Just looking though on this work ground, it's leaving like hollows where each seed is, which if you've got a lot of rain, it can probably fill them up. So it's one sort of fault with the drill, it'd be better, I think, if it left it flatter. But there again, it's not gonna rain for a week, hopefully, so that'll be up and away. But yeah, that's just got this sort of like corrugated effect I think that's due to the fact though that it it's got a slightly angled disc which is better in some ways because it creates a bit of a trying to get the sun out of the camera makes a bit of a mini tilt but then it also leaves that ridging effect so everything's coming up pretty good this year so I can't really complain and the fact that you've got such capacity that you don't need to do it when it looks like it's gonna rain the next day anyway or over the next few days all the seagulls trying to pinch the worms behind the drill. They're nearly worse than pigeons. Looks the part on that tractor. GPS is pretty good. In a couple of centimetres, I'd guess. We're doing 12k now. How many? acres an hour, 40 litres an hour, so we're doing about 34 acres an hour with 40 litres of diesel, so we're using about 1.1, 1.2 litres of diesel to the acre, which is pretty good now, it's 70 pence a litre. Oh wow, it is, you can't even see it in the mirrors. This is the bit straight into the direct drill bit, so it's sort of like minimal disturbance now. So probably want, might do like a tiny little bit more pressure maybe, don't know. No, I think it's all right, it's burying it nice. Hardly disturbing anything. And we'll go over here. Sorry, it's a bit windy. This is now onto where 
was worked. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over this coming months. And then the GPS on, not the GPS, the yield map. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for this bit here. This is a wet hole they just went through. So a bit of a bomb hole. Had water in until a couple of days ago. So he, he went through this and then just dumped the pressure out the drill so that it didn't didn't sink up all those on the spud lads there, carting on a fin. Moving then, 55k. Yeah, so he, as he come through this, because the drill looked like it was going to start to sink, he just dumped the pressure off it. Anyway, it's come through all right. It's a bit a bit tacky, obviously, but it is wheat. Dri Sorry, no, this is barley, actually. If it was wheat, I'm sure it'd be fine. Barley can be a bit finicky, but we'll just see anyway. But if you're waiting for this little bit to dry up, in this whole field you know that that'd take a week and you might not get that the rest of it drilled so he's only got this little bit left to do now he's finished for the day so i think he thinks about 55 acres and he only started an hour or two ago if you look here though it's hardly disturbed the soil at all you've still got the moss growing in the top and then there uh, should have the barley there buried in the slot Ideal. The tractor's basically on the tick over. Another spud. Oh, it's Adam. I thought he might have done his light trick. He just flashes his lights. It's a silhouette with the sun. You look there, totally buried, there, totally buried. And this one, it's not quite burying it properly. And I think that's one of the press wheels that got slightly bent. You see the seeds not not buried as well as it is there. And the press wheel running on a slight angle and flicking the soil out rather than pushing it in. It's a bit of a shame. I'll have to straighten it. Just see if I can see the bent one now. Yeah, it's running on an angle, see it flicking the soil on that one. Second one in, what the others are. That's the problem. Just a spud HQ. Danny's tipping the load, uh, he's nearly empty. Hulker's nearly full. Just having a quick look if this is fit to sow tomorrow, and I think it is. It's dried nicely. It's a little bit loose though, a little bit. Bit not quite level but i think we'll just try rolling it first and see what it's like and then just go straight in with the drill once bill's uh, bill and joe have finished drilling their barley lots have been going on today a couple of birthdays behind well actually three birthdays there behind me so happy birthday to everyone there and also shout out to jack who's in hospital he, he's just been diagnosed he's got diabetes which my dad has had since he was 14 and my dad's now 72 so it's amazing what the nhs can do now for people with diabetes so that's good not for you, but obviously it's good that they can do a lot nowadays. I need to correct yesterday. I said, this is a satellite picture. Well, my uncle, whose birthday it was yesterday, Uncle Keith, said it's not a satellite picture. It's a radar picture from a ground radar, which he used to maintain because he used to work for the Met Office. And apparently they, they have them every 100 mile and they fire radars up and measure the cloud cover and can distinguish between whether it's a rain cloud or whether it's just a normal cloud. Bit inaccurate in drizzle, he did say though, so that's obviously why sometimes when it says it's not going to rain and it does, it'll only be drizzle. So, a little bit of a fact there off my Uncle Keith. So, thanks to everyone that's been watching. If you want to subscribe, you can click up there. If you want to watch another video, it's over there. Don't forget if you're new subscribers, say where you're watching from. And hopefully, we've got some tractors coming on Tuesday as well. So, I'll see you tomorrow. We might get some wheat drilled.